Hello, Bacho. In this question, it is given that in an isosceles triangle, the vertex A is 6, 1. The equation of the base BC is 2x plus y equals to 4. Let the point B lie on the line x plus 3y equals to 7. If alpha and beta is the centroid of the triangle ABC, then 15 into alpha plus beta is equals to. Now, let us write the key concept for this question. If we have a triangle with coordinates as x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3. Let us take this as the centroid with coordinates x, y. Then the centroid x, y is found by x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3 comma y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3. Now let us use the key concept and solve the problem. Here in the question it is given that the coordinate of A is 6, 1. Now let us take this point as A with coordinates 6, 1. And the equation of the BC, BC is 2x plus y equals to 4. So this line is 2x plus y equals to 4. Let the point B lie on the line x plus 3y equals to 7. Let us take this line as x plus 3y equals to 7. Now let us find the coordinate of B. Let B have the coordinate P comma Q. B lies on the line 2x plus y equals to 4. So it must satisfy the equation. So we can write 2p plus q equals to 4. B also lies on the line x plus 3y equals to 7. So it also satisfies this equation. Then we will have p plus 3q equals to 7. Let us take this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Multiply equation 2 by 2 then we will get 2p plus 6q equals to 14 and write equation 1 we have 2p plus q equals to 4. If we subtract these two equations we will have 5q is equals to 10 which implies that q is equals to 2. If we substitute q in any one of the equations we will get p as 1. So the coordinate of b is 1 comma so we have the coordinates as 1 comma 2. Now the point C lies on the equation 2x plus y equals to 4. If x is equals to h then we will have y is equals to 4 minus 2h. So let us take the coordinate of C as h comma 4 minus 2h. Now, in the question, we have ABC is the isosceles triangle. So, AB is equals to AC. Now, if we use the distance formula, for AB, we have the coordinate of A as 6, 1 and B as 1, 2. For AC, we have A coordinate as 6, 1 and C coordinate as H, 4 minus 2H. Here, let us take this as X1, Y1, X2, Y2. For AC, we have to take this as X1, Y1, this as X2, Y2. So, using the distance formula, we can write root of X2, minus x1 the whole square that is 1 minus 6 the whole square plus 2 minus 1 the whole square is equals to root of h minus 6 the whole square plus 4 minus 2h minus 1 the whole square. 
square root on both side will get cancelled. So, here we will have 5 square plus 1 square is equals to h minus 6 square. If we apply the formula, we will have h square plus 36 minus 12h plus 3 minus 2h the whole square. Here we have 25 plus 1 is equals to h square plus 36 minus 12h plus 9 plus 4h square minus 12h. Now if we simplify this we will have 26 is equals to 5h square minus 24h plus 45. If we simplify this we will have 5h square minus 24h plus 45 minus 26 is equals to 0. 5h square minus 24h plus 19 is equals to 0. Now if we factorize this we will have 5h square minus 5h minus 19h plus 19 is equals to 0. If we take 5h common from the first two terms, we will have 5h into h minus 1. If we take 19 minus 19 common, we will have minus 19 into h minus 1 equals to 0. From this, we will have h values as 19 by 5 or h is equals to 1. If h is equals to 1, then the coordinate c will be h comma 4 minus 2h if we apply the value here we will have the c coordinate as 1 comma 2 which is equals to the coordinate of b which is not possible so h equal to 1 is not possible so we will have the value of h as 19 by 5 if h is equals to 19 by 5 the coordinate of c will be h comma 4 minus 2h if we substitute the value of h we will have c as 19 by 5 comma 4 minus 2 into 19 by 5 if we simplify this we will have the c coordinate as 19 by 5 comma minus 18 by 5 now in the question, we have alpha comma beta is the centroid. We have the A coordinate as 6 comma 1, B coordinate as 1 comma 2, C coordinate as 19 by 5 comma minus 18 by 5. For centroid formula, we will have x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 comma y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3. Now let us apply the values. Here x1 is 6 plus x2 is 1 plus x3 is 19 by 5 divided by 3 comma y1 is 1 plus y2 is 2 minus y3 is minus 18 by 5. So, we will have this divided by 3. If we simplify this, we will get 30 plus 5 plus 19 divided by 15 comma 5 plus 10 minus 18 divided by 15. So here we will have 54 by 15 comma minus 3 by 15. From this we can say that alpha is equals to 54 divided by 15 and beta is equals to minus 3 divided by 15. We have to find the value of 15 into alpha plus beta which is equals to 15 into 54 divided by 15 minus 3 divided by 15. If we simplify this we will have 15 into 54 minus 3 divided by 15. 15 and 15 will get cancelled. 54 minus 3 is 51. So the final answer is 15 into alpha plus beta is equals to 51. Now let us check the option. From the option we can say that option C is correct. Hope you understood the solution. Thank you Bacho.